So I'm glad to have you into the Sid Richardson Museum today uh, to be able to show you our new exhibition in a different light, Winslow Homer and Frederick Remington. And this exhibition came about due to a loan of a great work from our collection, uh, The Buffalo Runner's Big Worm Basin by Frederick Remington from 1909. It's a painting that was made in the last year of Remington's life. And it was requested for a very large exhibition that is on view right now at the Denver Art Museum. And it's pairing Winslow Homer's work alongside Frederick Remington. And um, because of that loan, we were able to borrow a wonderful earlier work by Winslow Homer from 1882, Two Figures by the Sea from the Denver Art Museum, as well as um, we got the opportunity to borrow the, um, the great painting from the Eamon Carter Museum, His First Lesson from 1903 by Frederick Remington. And so by putting these together, it was an opportunity for us to look at Remington alongside Homer um, and kind of compare these two artists that really hadn't been looked at side by side before. The reason we would want to look at Remington and Homer together is really because they come from kind of similar backgrounds. They're both largely self-taught painters um, who worked as artist illustrators in their early career. And later on, they really refashioned their work um, to become much more uh, considered rather than illustrators as fine artists. And um, the paintings that we have on view here um, really kind of reveal this. Our title, In a Different Light, was taken from the idea that as we look at this painting by Winslow Homer, um, that he's casting his subjects under this um, kind of stormy twilight sky, and it was a really great kind of pairing for us with the great holdings that we have here at the Sid Richardson Museum in Remington Nocturne paintings from the last decade of his life. And so we have paired that with three of the great nocturnes from our collection in this uh, installation. Um, we have a figure of the night, uh, a taint on the wind, and also the luckless hunter on view here with the Homer painting. Um, so we can really look at the way these artists kind of shaped and molded the latter parts of their careers. Um, with Homer, in 1881-82, he spent time in color coats on the northeast coast of New England, and he really studied the fisher people that he saw there and um, started to develop the, the fisher folk as this kind of major subject matter that he would explore for the remainder of his career, this um, idea of man versus nature um, at the seaside where the, where the ocean meets the land. Um, this becomes kind of the dominant theme in Homer's paintings for the remainder of his life after the 1880s. Um, and then the same thing happens with Frederick Remington. In uh, around 1900, he begins to explore um, the theme of night in his paintings. And Remington is doing this because he's really trying to differentiate himself as an artist illustrator and change the way um, he's perceived as more of a fine artist. And so he begins to paint these really marvelous um, nocturnes. Um, and we're, again, so fortunate to have five of those in the collection here at the Sid Richardson Museum. So I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of the exhibition and um, I look forward to inviting you back to see the works in person when we reopen the Sid Richardson Museum later this summer.